hi guys so this is another minimalism video as you guys know I'm really passionate about minimalism I don't think I could be great any more grateful for how it has improved the value of my life I my since following minimalism my stress levels have dropped my anxiety levels have dropped um, I have more time I have more energy um, I have because of those I have more clarity and because of that I have a greater sense of my vision and my mission in life and all of those things and obviously other things um, have helped contribute to my overall happiness and my excitement and enthusiasm for life. Now minimalism isn't just something like getting in the car and driving straight to your destination getting there. It's definitely not as easy as that. There's like you hit traffic, you have a breakdown, you need to refuel, you get in and out of the car, you may even need to change cars. You know, minimalism is a journey and you don't need to like, it's not like a box that you get into, it's, you incorporate it into your life. And it really is amazing and, and even the feedback you guys have given me about your own journey with minimalism has been incredibly inspiring. So thank you for that. Now this video that I've made for you is questions for people who are doing minimalism or trying to do minimalism and they're still finding that they're shopping because there's no point like decluttering and deculling your home if you continuously allow stuff to completely flow back in your house because you're just going to be doing constantly being decluttering and also you're going to be wasting money. So I've put together seven questions to ask yourself when you're shopping and um, to help you make better decisions that may help enable you to live in a life in aligned I should say with your minimalistic philosophy so that you stay authentic and true to it. So question number one is how am I going to pay for this item? The answer should be cash or it should be if you are using your credit card you should know that that credit card is going to be paid for in full. The whole purpose of minimalism is about removing or eradicating stress in our lives including financial stress. So if you're going to be paying for that item on credit and you can't really afford it well, there's no purpose or point of bringing it into your life because it's just you're going to be taking a step backwards. So if you are buying something, it should be paid for in cash or be paid off in your credit card bill at the end of the month. That's non-negotiable. Question number two to ask yourself when you're shopping is if you bought that particular item and then say two weeks later you saw something that you liked even more, how would that make you feel? Now the other day I was looking at, I can't remember what I was looking at, I was looking at a particular item and I asked myself this question and I thought, when I, I, my answer was myself, oh I'd be really annoyed and frustrated at myself that I bought that when I should have just done a bit more research and I would have much preferred to have had that. That then made me realise, well I don't really value that particular item that I'm intending on heart, handing over my hard earned cash over to buy. So I immediately put the thing down and left and haven't even thought about it since because I can't even remember what it was about. But I remember feeling like that immediate like, oh, you know, like almost anger at myself. So a really good question to help you understand and work out whether you're really valuing that item and whether you need to maybe take a little bit more time before going ahead and purchasing it. Because remember, we want to purchase with intention and love. Question number three is, do you really need to own it? In this day and age, we can rent everything and we can also borrow a lot of things. Now, there are amazing websites where you can rent shoes, you can rent handbags and dresses, cars, even just for the weekend. It's absolutely incredible. But also, you can borrow things from friends. Um, I have more than happily lend out my handbags and my shoes and my clothes um, to girlfriends who I know are gonna take really good care of it and appreciate that I'm lending it to them. And, um, and vice versa, they lend me stuff and it's great because sometimes I need a particular dress to wear to something, I don't have anything that's quite right or I don't have it, enough money in my budget to afford something that month or it's just something I know that I'm only going to need once and I'm never going to need to wear again. So my girlfriends very kindly lend me things back and it's a really great way of doing this because it also sense, creates a sense of community and love. Question five is to ask yourself, do you really need all the bells and whistles? And a classic example of this is cars and like even IT equipment. Do you need all that extra memory size? Do you need the sunroof? Do you need the Bose um, surround sound system in the car? Bose is a really good surround system. Um, but you ask yourself, do you need the electric heat warmers? 
is it going to value and be a serve purpose and use in your life sometimes when we take out those things it brings down the cost of that item so much more question number six is have i really done enough research on this item have i shopped around to find the best price have i found any uh, coupon or promo codes that will help reduce this price is this the best place to buy it and also is this the best time to buy it Often, you know, some items are way better off being bought at sale time, like particularly like linens and towels and um, stockings and things like that. They're much cheaper then. So stop and take your time and think, do I really need to buy this now or can I potentially delay this for a while? And often when we do delay things, we completely forget about buying them and realize we never really needed to buy them in the first place. And the final question is, do I love value use and am I gonna really appreciate this item? Stopping and asking yourself, do I really need this? Can I go without? Will I live if I go without this? Often the answer is yes. And you might realize that it actually, you don't need to have that item in your life and that that money is better served staying with you, being harbored and nurtured and you know growing your savings or maybe using that money towards something more exciting like an experience. So I guess at the end of the day, my advice to you is to shop consciously. Stop and take the time to think about whether you really need that item and if it's really going to contribute towards your overall happiness. Um, remember, minimalism is about living a simple life so that you can appreciate the bigger and better and beautiful things that are around us that don't actually cost anything. And thank you for watching Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And you can also follow me on my minimalistic journey, um, including creating financial freedom on my Instagram account, sugarmama.tv. I will see you later on the week or next week, I should say, for Money Monday. Ciao for now.